This is a blade guard 3D printed out of ABS plastic. Relatively smooth, but it still has layer lines. We are going to use acetone to vapor polish this guy in a glass container to make it super glossy. Now to do this, you need just a little bit of acetone in the bottom of your glass container. You want a container that doesn't have any rubber or plastic on it. And then you need a platform that will hold this part above the acetone. I used foil here so that if the acetone bubbles at all, it does not have anything splashing the bottom of the part. You want the vapor to come around the outside and evenly coat the part. You don't need to heat this up. You could just put a paper towel with a little bit of acetone soaked in it inside here, and over time the vapor would fill the container. However, if you have a 3D printer with a heated bed, you can set this thing to 45 degrees centigrade, which is actually slightly below the boiling point of acetone, because you don't want this thing bubbling and splashing around, but it's high enough that it warms it up and it will promote vapor forming. Now acetone is a highly flammable liquid, and so you might have fans or something else that make a spark with your 3D printer. So you definitely want to be keeping this lid on top of this guy while you're not putting the part in place. So you want to keep those vapors contained in the container. The hardest part about this whole procedure is doing this without having your part fall over. Especially if it's something like this with a narrow base. Sometimes it's easier to put the support material in first and then position your part by hand. You'll want to keep a pretty close eye on this. We're talking, you know, tens or thirty minutes. Um, you might want to be checking it every five minutes or so to make sure you stop it at the proper level of glossiness. If you leave it in for too long, it'll start deforming. Alright, this guy has been in here for about twenty minutes, and I'm not sure if you can see this on the camera, but it's starting to look a little soft and glossy on the surface here. Alright, we're definitely getting glossy over the whole thing. I'm going to go another 10 minutes. We're going to take this thing out and look at it. This is probably your most dangerous point when you lift this off because you're going to have a big collection of acetone vapors. You can see it kind of dripping down the sides here. It's just going to go woof out of that thing. So you don't want to have your nose near that. And also you want to be aware that you know if you had sparks or flames coming around here it could go woof. Also, getting this thing out of here without having it fall over is always fun. So, it is still textured, but it's definitely glossier. I'm going to put it back in about the same amount of time. We'll come and check it again. So, this is after about 40 minutes in the acetone vapor. You can see the shiny, glossy surface now. We're going to let that uh, dry out, essentially, let the acetone all uh, evaporate, and then we'll have the solid ABS plastic. You don't want to touch it right now because it might be a little gummy, it might take fingerprints. Alright, here's the final product. You can see it is nice and glossy and relatively smooth. If you take your finger on it and go like this, there's evidence of lines there, but it doesn't do the noise but it still has layer lines.